We had nearly 800 entries this year. It's people from all around the world who've entered the competition. This is a picture of the moon taken just rising over the English city of Oxford. It looks a beautiful red colour. It also looks very, very big, and that's because simply it's close to the horizon and your eye compares it with things that you know the size of. So it's an illusion. If you hold up your hand, you'll cover up the same amount of the moon as you would when it was up in the sky, but it does look very, very big close to the horizon. Beautiful picture of what's known as the zodiacal light. It's dust in our solar system scattering sunlight and produces this beautiful stream of light across the sky, a bit like the Milky Way, but much harder to see. Very elusive light, very beautiful image. A Perseid meteor streaking through the sky over Glastonbury Tor this image is one of hundreds this photographer took on the evening of the Perseids meteor shower. Only this one was able to capture this fleeting meteor as it streaked through the sky. It's a picture of the Milky Way. What's unusual about it is it's taken over the top of this tropical landscape from the Cook Islands in the Pacific. Wherever we are on Earth, we all share the same night sky. And I think unanimously this was the winner in the Earth and Space category from all of the judges. We're moving out now away from the Earth into the Our Solar System category, a close-up of part of the Moon's surface and the crater Petavius, an enormous structure formed by a, a massive meteorite impact billions of years ago. It's 200 kilometres from one side to the other, about three kilometres deep, and you can see in the centre of the crater this range of hills where the floor of the crater has rebounded after the impact. This isn't actually dirt on the lens, it's an astonishing image of the International Space Station with the Space Shuttle Endeavour docked to it, fleetingly passing across the disk of the Sun. It does this in about half a second, so the photographer has had to be incredibly precise to capture it right in the centre of the Sun. Also, a sunspot which is actually on the surface of the Sun. The sunspot is the size of the Earth, but it looks tiny compared to the space station, which of course is much, much closer to us. In these very high resolution images, you can see structures in the upper atmosphere of Saturn. These three images were taken about 40 minutes apart, so you can see a huge storm system in the top of these images as it progresses its way around the planet. So this is the winner of this year's Young Astronomy Photographer of the Year category. It's an absolutely amazing picture of a moon in the lunar eclipse just moving aside from a background star. The timing involved is absolutely staggering. It's astonishing that this was taken by a 15-year-old. The beautiful colours on the moon come from the sunrises and sunsets on the Earth, the, the sunlight shining through Earth's atmosphere. We have two images in this year's competition that show us stars being born in huge clouds of gas and dust which collapse under their own weight to make new stars. And here you can see absolutely fantastic shapes which this photographer thinks looks like fighting dragons. You can probably see that if you look yourself. The warrior Orion, you can see the three bright stars which mark his belt. What the photographer has been able to do is take an absolutely amazing deep image of this whole huge area of the sky so that you can see the Orion Nebula, a huge ball of gas and dust where new stars are forming. If your eyes were able to collect light in the same way that, say, your mobile phone camera can, and you were able to collect that light, you'd be able to see this wonderful skyscape in this very familiar location. We're moving from the birth of stars to the death of stars. It's the Vela supernova remnant, 
an enormous star which exploded thousands of years ago. And here the photographer has captured the glowing debris from that explosion, which is still expanding into space. It won the deep space category. This is the overall winner of this year's competition. It's an amazingly detailed picture of Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system. What's absolutely amazing about this image is that the photographer has managed to capture details on the surface of two of Jupiter's largest moons, Io on the left and Ganymede on the right. Technically, this image is absolutely astonishing because the photographer has had to photograph the three objects, the planet and the two moons, separately to capture all of that detail. And then he's combined them into this mosaic so that you can see all three at once. So this really, for me, illustrates the power of photography to show us things that we could never hope to see with the naked eye. A really fitting winner for this year's Astronomy Photographer of the Year competition.